Hello students, so last time I showed you one image and I asked you to identify that condition and this was that image. Let us discuss this image along with this question. Here they are saying that black dot ringworm infection is caused by, okay. So sometimes we use this term for tinea infection and because scalp is shown here, so this is tinea capitis and there are various variants of tinea capitis and one of them is known as black dot type. So this is a case of black dot tinea capitis. Okay. Now how to identify this condition as you can see that there is hair loss. So there is alopecia and remember that this alopecia is non scarring type of alopecia. Why? Because here this is non inflammatory type of tinea capitis. So this is non inflammatory type causing non scarring type of alopecia and as you can see in this patch there are multiple black dots which are visible so this is what this is black dot type now remember that this tinea capitis is commonly caused by trichophyton tonsurans so the answer here is trichophyton also there is one important point to remember that epidermophyton never involve hair so that's why it never caused tinea capitis. Then there are three species trichophyton, microsporum and epidermophyton. So the common one here is trichophyton tonsurans. So this is the answer here. Now we all know that there are different forms of lights and they have different wavelengths and sometimes these wavelengths are asked in the exams. Okay, so can you tell me the wavelength of ultraviolet radiation? Okay, so we also know that this is further divided into ultraviolet C, B, A, then there is visible spectrum, then there is infrared spectrum. You just need to tell me the wavelength of ultraviolet spectrum. So what is the wavelength? of ultraviolet spectrum and if you can specify the wavelength of a b and c ultraviolet then it will be much better we'll be discussing this tomorrow thank you very much